So, the first album of Dream Verb is one that I decided to title Vaporwave 64. I decided to do that for a couple of different reasons. First of all, I decided to hand draw the cover myself because I had just gotten a new set of markers and stencils from the craft shop. Simple enough, right? I always liked the idea of being able to hand draw the DMD Tapes FL logo. I wanted proper square stencils and now I have them. Um, got a fairly decent 36 pack of markers with all kinds of different shades so I could do different variations of the color scheme for our Florida logo. I am not a very good drawer. I'm not good at art. I'm not good at visual art. I've never had them, and it's just not something that I have the general aptitude to know how to do. My hands are shaky. My ability to replicate lines and color within lines and do anything imaginable in terms of a visual artistic intention, I, I don't do it correctly. I don't know why. I've always been that way. It's just not my calling. But with certain tools, I can create somewhat decent looking things. You know, tracing paper, stencils, colorful enough markers. I can make something that would at least get me a B passing grade in an art class. And so I tried to make it an album cover, and I inadvertently made an entire season logo because you will see that the DMT Tapes FL Season 5 logo is actually a part of this album cover. <clears throat> and that was the, its original location. It wasn't part of its own image and then added to this cover. It first came here, and I'm very happy to see that it is one of the... <clears throat> what's the best way to word it? most influence lending releases of the 30 that you're about to see well, I'm about to hear rather I think that this album shows a lot of the people that got me into Vaporwave and got me innovating in the first place I tried to replicate their styles you know people like Nano Shrine, Waterfront Dining, Dan Mason, Bodyline, Fantasy Deluxe a lot of major artists and entities, Luxury Elite James Ferraro even. A lot of these beings got me involved in, into Vaporwave in a way that it's not that I wanted to best them. It's not that I wanted to sound like them. I just wanted to be able to actualize myself in the same way that they were. And so Vaporwave 64 musically is a, is a big deal to me. It really tries to sound like my biggest influences. So the title itself is simple. Being that this is our fifth season, and Nintendo 64 was part of the fifth generation of gaming, it made sense to title this Vaporwave 64 as the first album as part of the Season 5 cycle. I know that fifth generation and fifth year are not exactly the same thing. A generation encompasses many years. This is just our fifth year. We're technically still in the same generation that we started DMT Tapes FL within. We're still a very young label, even though we're approaching our four-year anniversary. Nevertheless, we continue to evolve. By the fifth season, it's really cool to see how many reoccurring artists, reoccurring genre tropes within Vaporwave and without a Vaporwave, how many different aspects of synchronicity within all the things that happen involving DMT Tapes FL and how they occur. It's just really fun to watch the lineage of that over the years watching our fan base grow and watching our ability to connect with people grow and I think that the fifth generation of gaming was extremely significant for all of gaming it was when you got some of the first 3D games it's when you saw series that were always side-scrollers coming to life in ways like never before <clears throat> I've always cited Super Mario 64 as a major influence to me for the concept behind DMT Tapes of Fallon and a web label as a mode of expression. The idea of jumping into a picture frame and each picture on the wall is a unique depiction showing an entire world. I like the idea that each album is a world. And with Vaporwave 64 I really want to make a robust, beautiful world of all of the classic style, eco jam style sounds that you would be familiar with on a Vaporwave record from really any year. I wanted this to sound like all the best Vaporwave, and I hope that you'll find it to be measuring up to that. Please enjoy. Thank you so much.